A few weeks ago, I visited Oluo Market in Ekbe, but the region had other gems to serve up in the way of beautiful farmlands, offering up the freshest vegetables. I was lucky enough to visit two farms. So let's explore them, eat and make more friends on Food Journey. We're in Igbodu, Ekbe. You gotta love this town. This is my second trip here. And I'm with Rosalind Oluyemi. Yes. Nice to see you. Thank you and welcome to my farm. Thank you. My farm is Tesporo Farm, Tesporo, Nigeria. Wow, that is oh, a yes. mouthful of a name. <laughs> Why did you call it that? Well, you know, I have triplets, so I named the farm after them. Oh, Esther, Paul and Ruth. Wow. So. <laughs> That's wonderful. I just love the peace out here. As soon as I stepped out of the van, I felt, you know, calm. So, let's have a look at what you've got here. I mean, okay. this place is big. How many hectares are we talking about? We're talking of roughly 10 hectares. We have a aubergine. Ah. Yes. I think they call this black beauty. Yeah, or egg plant. Egg plant, yes. that's right. It's the purple one. They're just coming up. These are beautiful. Yes. You know, I love farming myself, but mine, of course, isn't on this scale. <laughs> I just farmed in, in my backyard. And you've got uh, corn over here. I yes, think. this sweet corn. Ah, we have yes. to go and take a walk in the cornfield. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you lead the way because okay. I don't want to step on anything I shouldn't be <laughs> stepping on. Let's go to the middle of the cornfield. All right. Yes. After you. But I don't know how you do it. You are not. You don't have farm shoes. I'm not wearing farm These shoes. These ones are not know. really. <laughs> I'm wearing good. sandals. I thought I was being cool. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> so we're back yes. smack in the middle of the cornfield. Yeah. One of the things I noticed is that you have um, these pipes running along the ground. Okay, these are drips. It's part of the irrigational process. So you don't need to start wetting water the normal manual way we used to do. Next, it was off to see the cucumbers. Most of these had been harvested, but there were still some left to see growing and a chance for me to pick one myself. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fantastic. Excellent. I see you're busy at work here yeah, harvesting... Sure. Cucumber. This is really, a, oh, I love this. It's so yeah. fresh, you know? Yes. And the yes. hard. Be beautiful. Wow. This one's coming home with me. <laughs> I'm really interested to see um, how, how, how do you pick them and um, to see if there are any that maybe okay. I could even pick. You know? Can I pick that? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, ow! There's a few so prickly really. things here. Yes. So, what do I do? Just, just twist them yes. or just. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. Okay, great. See, but even though this is a lost color, mm. it's still, you know, it's still hard. It's, it's still, still edible. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, we farmers will not eat this uh -huh. because we we'll look at it like it's Imperfect. overgrown. The cucumbers grow upwards. Staking is where bamboo poles support a system of vertical ropes which accommodate that growth. An old yellow graveyard of cucumbers left behind after harvest are beginning their journey of disintegration back into the soil. Rosalind had beetroot, baby lettuce and chilies growing. There's a demand for pepper, of course. Yeah, there's a demand. Every Nigerian eats ah, pepper. Of course. <laughs> Every Nigerian. In fact, our stews are pepper. That's right. If they don't have pepper, then, <laughs> then it's not stew. It. I walked among the plantain and banana plantation, listening to the gentle rustle of the leaves and watching the kites stalk their prey. It was a lovely connection with nature and the earth. We ended up in a row of okra plants to end our tour. So I know this is okra. Yes, it's okra, you know. It's got yeah. a beautiful flower going Yes, there. it is. Can I pick that flower? You can, I've you always can. wondered whether they smell because they look like roses. Okay, they Thank actually you. look like roses. <laughs> it doesn't smell like a rose, no, it smells like okra. Yeah, it's okra, obviously, yes. <laughs> to smell like okra. Yes, you know, okra actually emanates from here, so... So I just picked off an okra. Yes, oh. you did. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you did. but I love this. I'm going to keep this okra. Okay. In my hair. <laughs> That's beautiful. You know, I want to thank you so much for having us here today. You're welcome. We've seen all your wonderful produce. We saw okra, we saw lettuce, peppers, corn, yes. aubergine, bananas, 
plantain. It's like the Garden of Eden. Rosalind is to be commended for her passion. She's genuinely proud of her expanding farm, and so was I. She isn't afraid of putting her hands to a hard day's work either. Thank you for coming. Your pleasure, Your pleasure. pleasure. What a cool farm, small and manageable, with a lovely variety of produce, which Rosalind supplies to market. I left with a few treats myself, and now had a reason to cook with the freshest food and to visit again. Next, it was off to Best Food Farms, a big stone's throw away from Rosalind's. This is a much larger farm, which supplies big supermarket chains. Never been in a proper greenhouse before, so this was going to be a treat. Hat donned, we were on our way. I'm with Tunde today, who's the supervisor of Best Food Farms. And Tunde, could you tell us what is your what does your job entail really as supervisor? Yeah, well, uh, my job as a supervisor is just to make sure that everything on the farm is going smoothly, no lapses, that the workers are doing their job as assigned to them by me, and make sure that everything is in order. Great. Yeah. Thanks very much for the hat today. Yes, you're welcome. How do I look? Farmerish? Yeah, you look very like, well, much like a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I want to see, of course, are these greenhouses okay. over here. So can All we right. take a walk and All right. have a look? Yeah, okay. follow me. Yeah, I, I want to stop here because I see some beautiful okra plants. Okay. They're all in bloom. We actually just stopped at another farm hmm. when they were in their sort of infancy. Okay. So can we just have a look at these? Yeah, or? sure. Oh, wow. You can see the little baby ones here. Yeah, that but one's just coming up. This one is huge, yeah. my goodness. Yes. Can I pick it? Because I know it's, uh, sure, over, sure, it's sure. overgrown. Yeah. tough to get off. Mm. Okay. Great. Okay, so this one obviously is um, too big to pick. And you can see, I know in the market, when you go to the market, they sort of do this. Yeah. You can see that this one didn't uh, sort of pop off sure. quickly and that's just a... But this is great. I'm just going to keep this just for the size of it. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's a good size to pick. Like This, yeah. one, over this here? one is a very good size to pick. Ah, that's yeah. beautiful. This I love that one. Can this you, one is still small, it beats. Let me just pick that one. Oops, my hat is trying to fly yeah. off. Look at the difference. Okay, so this is what we want. Mm -hmm. And this one is overgrown. Yeah. So I'm going to do the little test. See, look at See that. See the difference. It just pops yeah. right off. That's what we want. Yeah. That's a beauty. 